In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up AppCommerce. First, go to our documentation, uh, find AppCommerce, and go to the AppCommerce setup. Please make sure that you have all these requirements and you have installed the AppCommerce plugin and activate it. And then the next thing we need to do is find our WooCommerce REST API key. So to do that, you're going to go to your website, go to the WooCommerce settings, go to REST API, click on Add Key. Oh, sorry, it's the Advanced tab, REST API add a key and then you're gonna go to um, just give this a a name and then you're gonna choose a user that it goes with it could probably be your user it doesn't really matter and then the permissions are going to be read and then you're gonna generate that key and then go ahead and copy the key and secret into your my app presser settings that's actually gonna be underneath the integrations tab where it says WooCommerce API key. Copy your key and secret there and save. And then we're gonna to go to the customize and build app. So you wanna create a menu if you haven't already. And if you do not have the AppCommerce pages installed yet, I'm gonna go through that real quick. You're gonna to go to add a page and choose App AppCommerce in custom pages. You can give it a name. Um, first, we're gonna create our shop page. This is kind of like WooCommerce on your website where you have to create the individual pages that have short codes on them. This is very similar to that. So our shop page is going to have, um, you'll see in bold here these, what you can add there. So for example, I have, um, I'm just adding basically a products feed. Now this is the, um, the route is actually a slug for the WooCommerce REST API endpoint. And then there's a few other options that you can use for your uh, for your components. So, for example, for this Woo list component, we have if you click on customization help, you'll see in our documentation it tells you what um, parameters you can use. So, for example, it uh, let me just show you this here. You could uh, if you only want to display a certain category, you would get the category ID for that one. Um, if you wanted to only display certain products or um, products that were on sale, you can use these parameters. Um, these are all coming from the WooCommerce API documentation, which if I click into here and wait for it to load. So for example, I can go to the products and look at the product properties and you'll see all the different things you can do like if you wanted to choose status is only published that's kind of by uh, default if you wanted to show only featured products you would use featured is true um, now how these work is if I wanted to use featured true I would go back to my product list here I would say featured e equals true like that and if I wanted to add another parameter I use an and like that um, so I'm just going to remove those because I just want my normal product list and I'm going to add this page to my menu and I'll click save and refresh. So just like with all custom pages, you do need to rebuild your app after you create these. So um, it will automatically do that for you. And let's just go ahead and create the other page. I'm going to, I have to create a cart page. So I'm going to go cart and it's... It says that I need this WooCart short code, or whatever you want to call it here. I'm going to save and refresh there. And it's sort of like refreshing everything for me just to make sure that I um, am seeing the, the preview correctly. And then I'm going to go to the last page, which is the account page. And this is where people can go to view their order history. It's also where they're sent after they create a, after they um, create a purchase. It's it's basically the, the purchase thank you page. So those are the three pages that are necessary in the app. And then you can create other pages such as like a, the wish list page. And to create that go in here that's actually if you click on this customization help it shows you how to create the wish list page
Actually, that is in a different part of our documentation. Let's see, App Commerce customization. So if you go to App Commerce Setup Documentation underneath other pages, you'll find that there is the code for the wish list, which is basically this uh, same list component that we used before. But all we do is we put wish list equals true, and there's not actually a route or any other parameters in there because this is not actually getting products from the API. Um, it is just pulling in saved wish list items that are on the device itself. So then you leave the component saying none, and then we're going to add that to our page, save and refresh. Okay, so you should see if your API key is correct and you added those pages to your menu and rebuilt, you should see uh, the pages here. You should be able to click around and actually uh, I see your products and everything. I have a, I'm, I'm just using a demo here so my API key is not working. I'm going to switch over to a different app that's already, already done here. If you have any trouble at all while you're setting this up, um, go to App Commerce and then go to App Commerce troubleshooting in our documentation. There's a lot of common things that happen um, with, when setting up this and so we have a lot of them actually already explained here. So check that out. But you should be able to see products now, like this uh, demo app that I have. And you should be able to add them to your cart and do all that stuff. Now, if you want to customize the checkout page, so in the documentation, you should see, uh, you know, the checkout page actually happens on your site. Uh, actually, before we get to checkout, let me talk about visual customization. So if you want to actually customize the cart and shop pages, we have some different code that you can use for the like slider. You can change the amount of slides that show. Um, you can hide the toolbar and things like that on these. And so um, check out our documentation for all the things that you can use there. For visual customization, you're going to use the... Um, you're going to have to use a browser inspector and, and customize with CSS. We have some example CSS here of things that you can do. Um, I'll give you a quick demo of how I handle this. Uh, but for example, you know, I open my browser inspector. And if this is uh, confusing to you or anything, just ignore it. But basically, you can go in here and find that I have like WooCart is the selector on the cart page. And so then I can uh, change things by putting in, you know, WooCart and then like whatever my selector is here. And that did not work. So let's see. Yeah, so sometimes you have to put like an important on it. Um, and then I can customize that way. And each selector for each page is listed in our documentation. Um, the, the last thing would be the checkout page. If you wanted to customize this, one thing that we are adding to the page so that you can customize it on your end is the app commerce equals one. You'll see this app commerce equals one to the URL. So if you wanted to customize this page strictly for your app, then you could check for the app commerce uh, get parameter. And then you could do things like load a different template, uh, remove the navigation and the header and things like that in a child theme or plugin. Um, you can also use our WooCommerce smart checkout plugin, which works really well for uh, mobile. And um, beyond that, the customization is, uh, you know, how, how far you want to take that. It's kind of up to you. So uh, that is the WooCommerce setup. Please check our documentation for more customization code and tips and things like that.